Hello everyone. In this video, we have this interesting problem. We have a to the power 3x plus a to the power x is equal to 350. And we have to find the value of x where x is a real number. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and also like this video. Now let's get started. We write this a to the power 3x as 8 to the power x, then all to the power 3 plus this, we have a to the power x is equal to 350. Then we will let m, I really like m a lot, equal to a to the power x. So the equation now becomes m to the third power plus m is equal to 350. Now let's equate everything to zero by subtracting 350 from each side of the equation so that we we'll get the right hand side to be zero. And now we have this cubic equation. So how do we solve this? Well, I'm going to apply some tricks here, but I'm sure a lot of people will be commenting down below, right? And I'll give answer to that. Let's write this m because the coefficient is one, so we can write one as 50 minus 49. So let's plug this into the equation. So you have m to the third power minus 49m plus 50m minus 350 is equal to zero. Now the reason is that if you solve a lot of questions on this type, you'll be able to do this. This is the easiest way that you can solve this cubic equation. I have solved a lot of questions in this type of problem. And this is the easiest way to do this because we can manipulate this 49, right? This is a perfect square. We can manipulate it. So let's pay attention to these two terms. From here, we can take m out. So we have m times m squared minus. Now this 49 could be written as 7 to the second power. Then plus these two terms, we can take 50 out. So we have 50 times m minus 7 and this is equal to 0. Now note, always whenever you are choosing a values for 1, you need to make sure that one of them is a perfect square. Now you see that this 49 could be written as 7 squared like I did here, right? Then it will make it easier for you. Since this is difference of two squares, we can write it as m plus 7 times m minus 7. Then plus here we have 50 times m minus 7, and this is 0. Now we have m minus 7, m minus 7. So let's factor it. We have m minus 7 times, here we have m times m plus 7. Then this side we are left with 50. And this is equal to 0. Now let's distribute this m across. So we have m minus 7 times m squared plus 7m plus this 50. And this is equal to 0. We have a product of two factors. So we can say that m minus 7 is equal to 0 or m squared plus 7m plus 50 is equal to 0. Now let's consider this quadratic equation first. From here we need to discriminate by using the discriminant formula which is delta is equal to b squared minus 4ac. So we know that b is the coefficient of m so you have 7 squared minus 4 times 1 where 1 is the coefficient of m squared times c being the constant, so we have 50 here. 7 squared is 49 minus 4 times 50, that is 200. So we have delta to be equal to negative 151. Since delta is less than 0, it means that this quadratic equation over here has no real solution. Therefore, we are not going to consider this equation. Now let's pay attention to this equation. From here straight away we see that m is equal to 7. But remember that we let m equal to a to the power x. Therefore, 
a to the power x is equal to 7. Now we are looking for x in this exponential equation. Let's go ahead and then introduce log in base 8 on each side of the equation because if we introduce log in base 8, we will be able to generate something like log in base a of a which is equal to 1 and it will make this exponential equation very simple to solve. So we have log in base 8 of a to the power x is equal to log in base 8 of 7. From the properties of log, the power now becomes the leading number. So we will have x log in base 8 of 8 is equal to log in base 8 of 7. Now this log in base 8 of 8, like we said before over here, is equal to 1. Therefore, we have our final answer to be x equal to log in base 8 of 7. Now, if you use calculator for this, you get x approximately equal to 0 0.935785. So approximately, this is the value of x. Now, let's go ahead and then test our answer to see whether it satisfies the equation. It's the original equation, so we're going to test whether our answer satisfies the equation. Now, we have a to the power 3 times x where x is this value we got approximately 343 then a to the power x is also approximately equal to 7 so let's go ahead and then add these two values we have 343 plus 7 right so we have this one to be 10 so we write 0 remember 1 making this 5 and then we have 3 so you see that our value of x over here satisfies the equation subscribe to my channel for more videos like the video, comment, and share. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video. Bye-bye.